Hi, Pipe. Hi, Blair. Hi, Brad. Hello, adventurers from 13 Adventures. Welcome back to the Blue Couch Studio. We have been out on an adventure this weekend to visit some of Blair's family members and stay at a harvest host. So we stayed at Hana Lee or Anna Lee, I don't know. Hona Lee. Hona Lee. Vineyard. Uh, Gordonsville, Virginia is where it's near. Nice little quaint town. We've driven through Gordonsville a number of times. It's such a cool little Mayberry-like city street and uh, small town feel. Yep. There's plenty of wineries around around the area. So we've, we've done a number of harvest hosts there. It's been quite nice. Mm -hmm. But we have returned back out to the coast and we've got our awnings out and we've got cleanings complete. Piper's settling in for her afternoon nap. <laughs> settling in. She doesn't seem to be feeling so well right now. No. We think she ate some. We something. don't know what. Something out at the at the winery. She got roaming around and was chowing on something this morning. I'm not sure what. Yeah. But she and I had an awesome sunrise hike up to the top of the mountain this morning, and then uh, while Blair slept in and. She worried about us for about 15 minutes because she called me. I did worry. <laughs> you were gone for 45 minutes. Long enough for me to fall back asleep, wake up 45 minutes later, and then realize, oh my God, I'd never heard you come back in. Yeah. What happened? And then so, I play worst case scenario in my head. So I had him dead on the side of the road and Piper roaming free near a highway <laughs> when he didn't answer the first time. <laughs> And then I called back a second time and he still didn't answer. I was filming the sun coming up and because I was near standing right beside this turkey house, there's a, hundreds of turkeys in there getting getting fat for turkey season. Um, they were all cooing or whatever. What's the sound turkeys make? Um... Gobbling. Well, they weren't gobbling, gobbling like turkey gobbling. They were just... They were going... Tup -tup. They weren't doing that. I don't know. I wasn't there. What those, were they doing? Those little, little turkey coos. Those little turkey coos. <laughs> <laughs> Piper was fascinated with the turkey She coos. was fascinated. Drinking too much. Tired of watching the grass grow. Channel two, channel three, back to channel two. I watched everything in my queue. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming Need an RV, no plans, just you and me I need to go somewhere We just pulled up into uh, Harvest Host We actually came in last night uh, pretty late But we're going to get leveled up here this morning And show you what that's all about <laughs> Can't take it anymore I got to get my feet out the door So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going more. This is how you get a workout in. It's how we work out on the road. <laughs> Built-in equipment. That's right. Look, see, you can even squat with this guy. I've been waiting on this package for Seems like two months now. I don't remember exactly when I ordered them, but I somehow picked the exact right time to order these. Mark uh, and Trish from Keep Your Daydream, whom I absolutely love and adore, and I appreciate all that they do for this this community. He put out his video on the on the snap pads for his Airstream at the same time that I ordered these, and they sold out super fast. 
I was in time to order them, but I accidentally clicked on the wrong uh, size that I needed. The customer service for SnapPad, let me tell you, I have I, there's very few businesses that I uh, promote because of their customer service, but SnapPad is one of them. They emailed me back right away and said, can you please send us a measurement of your uh, feet and your stabilizing jacks and send us a picture if you can. So I sent them a picture with a ruler next to it. And she said, you need to order this other kind. I've canceled your current order. Uh, please go on and reorder. I was in a place where I couldn't order at the time when I got that email and I put it off for about five hours and I went back on to order them again, sold out. Whenever they came back online, uh, this has been three-ish weeks ago now, maybe four weeks ago, I reordered my snap pads and today they have arrived. And I'm very excited to try these out. So let's get them installed and see how they do. I guess I didn't need that. Turns out I do need that because it's the instructions. It says, installation happens in a snap. Line up your pad, lower the foot until the lip fully engages. Repeat for the rest of your jacks. Quick tips, install one snap pad at a time. Number two, get a helper. I currently don't have any helpers because Blair is not in town right now. And Piper is typically not a good help for these things. She's good to watch though. Install your pads while parked on a hard, flat, even surface like concrete or asphalt. If your snap pad package comes with different size pads, be sure to match the correct size with the proper jack on your rig. Use a bead of dish soap around the lip of your snap pad as lube for installation. Do not use any silicone based products on them as they compromise the integrity of the material. And on the back side is some disclaimers. I'm ready to check these things out because I currently have these little feet installed underneath them for when we park at different spots, but it's nice just to roll up, wind them down, and they're sitting on the deck with no worries. Right now I'm just removing my, what I've been using. And I'm gonna to try to install this snap pad. Easy as that. Stabilizing and unstabilizing the Airstream has been much easier with the use of the snap pad. No longer do I have to go around and line up my little pads on the ground because these things work fantastic. It only takes a second. Very easy to use. And if it's raining, it has a drain hole in the bottom where water drains out. Keeps your feet from rusting keeps them from sliding around, getting scratched up on the pavement, all around, highly recommended product. So we drove there late on Friday night, got there kind of late, he pulled up in the nighttime sky. I took some really cool pictures at night though. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried to get the moon, but it, the earth rotated a little bit too fast for me. <laughs> and then we got up early the next morning, I uh, got some drone footage of flying around as the sun came up, which is nice. Mm -hmm. We took our time, went and visited them, had some breakfast. Yeah, we met up with Uncle Frank and Aunt Leanne and his cousin Kathy Ann and her husband Bob. Got up, packed up the house this morning, stopped by and visited. So the Blue Green, is it, what's it called? Blue, Blue Green, Green Vacation? Vacation Resorts. Yeah. This was in Gordonsville, so it's the Shenandoah Crossing. We've we've visited them at a number of those places they've stayed at and had a good time. It's 
we had enjoyed some breakfast with them this morning, breakfast with them yesterday, wine tasting yesterday, and they toured the Airstream for the first time yesterday, so that was really nice. And we met another two couples at the oh, yeah, we did. at the Harvest House who also had Airstreams, and we chatted with them, and they came and toured, um, toured this Airstream, and it was just a good weekend of family fun and mm. catching up. And yeah. I haven't seen most of them since the wedding, so it's been it was a nice catch up and nice, uh, just nice conversations, easy flow, easy conversations, putting together some puzzles and cooking and hanging out on the back deck you know, and yeah. cooking grilled hamburgers and just a nice day, nice weekend, very nice weekend. Very glad we had a chance to do that. Yep. And Played some yard chess. Oh yeah. Yep. Holy. Goodness. <laughs> this chessboard is gigantic. It's like the Harry Potter chessboard, but nobody gets killed in the process. <laughs> but it's like half that size. So yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it was, it was big. So it's a chessboard. So Blair played a lot of chess. Pepper and I went for a little walk around the, around the resort. We visited the general store. We looked at the people swimming in the pool. We saw the RV park there. We looked at some horses. The horses, yeah. We, Piper tried to talk to the horses, but they don't speak the same oh, language. <laughs> <laughs> the little barn cat befriended Piper as well. Yeah, she tried to talk to it this morning too. Yeah. All her hackles were up. Yep. She was in alert mode with her tail just wagging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feels good, it was a good weekend. Hung out most of the day. Then we went to the wine tasting and checked out the, the winery. We, we did a, a sample, what's it called? A flight. A flight of wine, of eight different wine bottles we sampled. All good. Uncle Frank photo bombed somebody's post uh, photos they were it's going good. on. It was, <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, it was good. Um, cleaned up. Went out, uh, had some dinner last night, enjoyed, again, fellowship and camaraderie and family. It's very thankful to have good humans in our life like that. Yep. Thanks for allowing us to be part of your day. Happy adventures. Happy adventures. Cut. <laughs> Submarine DeLorean On a horse and a Porsche On a boat with T-Pain Swim like a mermaid Nearly all the way to Spain Listen, Karen, I'll even ride on my rollerblades I need to go somewhere I need to go somewhere